Y'all remember Helen. So this is Helen. She's up, looking good, 100% better. She's really slimmed down. We kind of rationed her feed back a little bit too. We're gonna to put her back on free choice feed, but she's looking so much better. Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So if you saw the last video, we talked about how I had just gotten back from the Farrow to Finish and Marketing School that's put on by Jordan Green and Farm Builder up in Edinburgh, Virginia at their farm. And so we talked about how we learned a lot of cool stuff up there. They've got a lot of neat stuff going on, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of things to make your farming uh, adventure a little bit easier. And so this is one of those things. We're gonna talk about this today. If you've not hit that subscribe button, hit subscribe, follow along with us. We're gonna do some more videos on other stuff that we've learned and you're gonna to wanna to follow along and check all that stuff out with us. But again, this is the first thing that we've tried and so this is our field waterer. So hang around with us for a little bit. Let's talk about this, how it's built, how it's put together, and uh, how it's gonna make our daily farm chores a little bit easier. So hang around. Okay, so this is our new watering system. And if you've been following along with us um, for any length of time, you know that traditionally we have used 55, or I guess they're really 50 gallon pickle barrels using the pig nipples um, on the sides. Let me show you one of those real quick um, and what we do with those and uh, what they look like. So this is it. Um, 50 gallon drum. It's got two of the pig nipples on the side. Uh, just every day we would fill this up. Um, pigs, you know, whenever you've got 19 feeder pigs in a field and two of these things they're they're going to drink them down um, every day so you're going to have to fill them up every day so it's 100 gallons of water um, and that takes a while to stand there and fill we'll talk about that in a minute but the one of the big problems with these is those pigs would take shifts of sitting in front of that nipple and holding it open and running water out on the ground creating a big mud puddle big mud walla and when they do that, they root that thing out and it gets you get a hole big enough that you can bury a daggone Volkswagen in it. So the system that we're using now that we learned um, at the Farrow to Finishing School, I think is gonna solve that problem. So let's walk back over here and look at that thing. All right, so this is the, this is the water. And this is kind of based a little bit on the Brower style waters. I'm sure y'all have seen those. I think they're an 85 gallon water. They, it's a tank and then it has a trough in the front that the pigs have to stick their heads in and drink out of. Same kind of principle here. What we've done is we've taken a 275 gallon IBC tote. Um, this tote at one time had, I think it had sugar water in it. Um, and I had bought this one last year. Um, needless to say, we're getting ready to buy a bunch more of these. We've, after going to that school, we found a ton of different purposes for these things and we're gonna put them, put them into practice. So, 275 gallon of water tote, and what we've done on one side is we have cut a hole in the side of the tank. In front, we've got a platform that the pigs can stand up on, and they can stand up, and they're gonna, they stick their head in this thing, and they drink. Yes, the water's muddy, that's just the way it gets with pigs. It's gonna be muddy. Every time we move this thing, we're gonna be cleaning it out. So just take the tote, we've got the, the platform built, got the hole in the side, the pigs are gonna stand up on it and stick their head in there to drink. That's not the cool part. Here's the cool part. So inside, this is the business part. This is the part that's, that's really, really neat. So we have a float valve that sits down in the tank. And as long as that valve is not under water, it opens the, the flow and we get the flow of water into the tank. Once that water fills up and that float valve goes underwater, it shuts off. So as the pigs come up and they drink out of the drinker, hell's knocking the camera over, as the pigs come up and they drink out of the drinker, it self fills. So now in the morning when we come down and do chores, we don't have to stand over two buckets with a water hose for 
15 or 20 minutes or however long it takes to fill those tank, those buckets, those barrels. We don't have to stand there and fill that up. Our daily water chores have ceased to exist now. The only water that we have to, that we have to worry about is whenever we move these pigs from one place to the other and just move the tank. When we get ready to move them, just come over here to the side, open the valve up, drain the water out, rinse it out, move the tank to the new spot. Works great. The plumbing for this ended up costing me, I think about $6 by the time I got all of the, um, the PVC pipe, the connectors. Um, I had some glue, had some prep. Um, I mean, it all was pretty cheap. I think this piece right here was probably the most expensive piece. I think it was about $3. Um, and this is just a PVC slip to a garden hose connector. Uh, you do have to get a special connector for your garden hose. Um, so it's just a slip on piece that connects your garden hose. So we've got our garden hose that's connected to our um, four way valve up there that's running down from the well. Garden hose comes here. We connect to um, a small short piece of three quarter inch PVC with a slip connector and a garden connector to an elbow, just a 90 degree elbow. We drill a hole in the top of the cap on this tank. PVC piece runs, PVC line runs down into the tank and then we put the float valve on the end. So now let me show you the float valve individually by itself. It's just a simple float valve. Um, and whenever the water reaches a certain level on the valve uh, or on this float, it will shut the valve off and it stops the water from flowing. Real simple to put together. We just took that piece of three quarter PVC, went down through the top of the cap on that IBC tote, drilled a hole in it, put the piece of PVC down through there on the end, just a little slip connector with a threaded end on it, some Teflon tape around here and just screwed that thing on and boom, it's off and running. Um, these we found on Amazon. I'll post a link to them in the description down below. There were two of them for 15 bucks. Um, this one has a side outlet and it comes with this, just this little cheapo plastic um, diverter piece on it. Um, so you can either put it so that the water's running down. I guess you could make a nice little fountain if you wanted to do that or you just take it off and I just took it off and just let the water come out the side. It's no big deal. So again, 15 bucks on Amazon. You get two of these. Um, Works really, really simple. Again, we'll, we'll see how it works. Whenever we were up at the school um, last week, um, those guys were continuing to experiment with different ones. Um, the pigs, he said, they said sometimes they would go in there and mess with them and break them and get them where they wouldn't work. So, you know, we'll kind of watch what they're doing um, and we'll just keep experimenting ourselves and see if we can come up with, uh, you know, till we come up with the right thing. But so far, again, you know, we've been out here for two days. So far it works fine. And um, <clears throat> all right, so, cost. I know that's always a, that's always a determining factor in, uh, in anything that we're doing. So how much did this whole setup cost me? Well, the IBC tote, I had a couple of those left over. Uh, I had bought a couple of those, I don't know, a year or so ago. Uh, so I had two of those left. All in all, I think I'd paid, they were pretty cheap at the time. I know they've gotten a little more expensive now. I think I paid 40 bucks a piece for these. So $40 in the IBC tote. The uh, materials to build the platform, uh, that was a, um, that was one eight foot four by four. And I think I got one 12 foot uh, two by six. Um, you know how that, you know how lumber prices are now, especially pressure treated stuff. So the platform in it cost me with screws and everything, I think about $35. So I'm at 75 bucks. Um, the plumbing, Let's just say for ease of figuring $5 uh, for the plumbing on this and I've got enough stuff to do another one. So again, let's just figure five bucks. So five bucks, so um, 40, 35, we're at $75, we're at $80. And then the valve, again, two of those um, were 15 bucks, so 750, so uh, 40, 35 is 75, another five is 80 and then another seven and a half, so about eighty-seven and a half dollars So I've got this drinker here that I don't have to fool with putting water in every day, again, for $90. So, I mean, it's really a pretty good deal uh, whenever you think about your time and how long it takes you to water. Plus, we're not gonna have the issue with the mud holes 
in front of these drinkers every time these pigs are out here trying to drink. Again, if you've used something that's got those nipples on it, y'all know those pigs, it seems like they take shifts. Somebody's sitting in front of that thing holding that drinker open and just running water out, wasting water on the ground um, so they can build those mud holes. Plus, you've got you know all that wasted water. So I think for 90 bucks, um, this probably was a pretty good deal. Um, I'm excited to see how it works. We've had it out here with them now. This is day number two. I didn't do a video on the build because I wasn't sure what I was doing and didn't want to um, didn't want to screw that up. So, but this is what the final product looked like and what it what it ended up looking like. Um, it did take the pigs about it took them about half a day to learn to drink out of it. Sondra came down and brought some marshmallows, and uh, we kind of baited the front of the. Uh, I think there's a couple still floating. We kind of baited, yeah, there's one floating in there. We sort of baited the front of this thing um, right here with uh, with marshmallows. Pigs would get up there, sniff around it, knock the marshmallow, and then they go chasing it. It's like, oh, there's water in here. So um, that worked out pretty easy. It wasn't too difficult to get them to drinking out of the drinking out of the uh, out of the water. So, but anyway, that's our uh, that's our field drinker. Um, we're gonna build a couple more of these. See how see how it works out. So far, I've been very pleased with them and uh, excited about how it works. So I'm gonna post a link to a couple other videos over here, some other stuff we got going on. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, follow along with us. This is just the first of many things that we're gonna implement. We got some feeders to build. We're gonna show how we do a move. Um, we just got all kinds of stuff going on. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.